Rapture Mechanics is an intermediate trio piece where parts of the text are decided by the readers before or during the performance, and where the musical cues are not entirely musical. This allows for a piece that is challenging for the performers, truly collaborative, and unique to each performance. Michael Bernstein is a Chicago-born writer and musician. He's the author of 11 chapbooks and has been a contributor to numerous literary publications. Joining him tonight will be fellow poet T.M. Gahl and guitarist Will Merchant. So please welcome Michael Bernstein and <laughs> to dedicate uh, tonight's performance to a friend of mine that uh, passed away a few days ago, Sarah Pearl. Uh, she uh, died very young, and uh, Sarah, this is for you. Part one, Total Creep. The sky draining, the instant staves off its own pummeling weight. For now, the antenna booms a kill signal, curdles distant radios like eggs. Throughout a grid of humdrum and rusty snow, we hear a bolt clatter downward. We couldn't have anticipated this. Our wayward ions batter at each other, spill on the marble cathartic and warm. <clears throat> The cloak door remains in place, locked and jammed. The map gets thick, its cacophony echoes in the black between stars. I always loved running, but never thought I could utter these words. Not like this, at least. Fissures like this are inevitable in engineered structures, but the pull is gargantuan this time, and something must break. What we need can't be borrowed. What we need can't be bought. Here, the creek draws its angle of departure, drifting further, gleaning guilt. The shift is rendered seismic, the town too small to absorb the blast. The echoes bleat from every well, ripple through each watering hole, and the day glow kids can't help but stare. This kind of rupture can only be hidden for so long. Any number of outside variables could launch the whole dam in on itself. It's formulaic. What the fuck was I thinking? <laughs> Part two, void growth. Fini, trust and gag. The thing sleeps sound as a sarcophagus, and nearly as heavy. In the meantime, a rift appears that could sleep a slum's worth of creeps. If it keeps on raining, keep looking in the mirror. If it keeps on raining, the sediment will fill our mouths like snow. If it keeps on raining, there will be nothing left. The rain cools the seas, the swells freeze stiff. This ice age is all too real, and we run from the mastodon so fast. Our cells can't help but hemorrhage. Our lives bleed out. The gore is all we see, cartoonish in its proportions. And the brain blood river carves a crevasse formidable, and eons were done in mere months. Before the void, there was thunder. Before the void, there was an agent of mercy. The void is so cold. All you do is lie. The death blow, the inferno's frozen core. A gaggle of fiends hijack a Zamboni as cyclones pour from a dread source. Part three. Fracture mechanics. Tornadoes are produced from a volatile mixture of hot and cold air. Tornadoes paint the sky in nauseous green. Tornadoes occurring in the Midwest. Tornadoes blow their rogue algebra. Two, Two tornadoes, tornadoes do not cancel each other out. 
The once chiseled helix bows now falters against the bludgeon of solar force winds. Spectral dogs play in trailer shrapnel, the fallout visible from distant nebulae where people get along. What we need can't be borrowed. What we need can't be bought. The scene is utter fuckery, a sick mosaic of lack and stammer. Still, somehow lanterns rally in the debris, chase each other, exponentiate. They guide the night in like syrup, cathartic and warm. Love is a rumor. Love is a wave. The cyclone kids dress their wounds with gauze and bourbon and poultices, their hair all sweat and cotton candy against the blasting dawn. Part four, Coda. Ice. Cyclones. Departure. Echoes. Growth. Black. Need. Snow. Sleep. Can't be borrowed. Can't be bought. Thank you. Thanks a lot, everybody.